So your video's just about done and you realize it's missing subtitles. What do you do next? Why not check out Submachine, an Adobe Premiere Pro plugin that enables you to quickly create engaging and, even better, customizable subtitles with just a few clicks. Hello fellow creators! Kat here, and today with VidPros, we're taking a more intimate look at Submachine and how this handy tool provides an intuitive solution for dynamic, customizable subtitles. Hang tight guys, we'll be showing you how to use the plugin as well. So what can you expect from Submachine? It's got automated word-by-word -word animation, customizable Mogurt templates, an easy-to-use interface, lightning-fast rendering, and advanced text styling options, which is a lot. But for this video, we're focusing on its customizable Mogurt templates. Submachine revolutionizes the video editing process by way of customizable Mogurts or motion graphics templates. Using the plugin, editors of all skill levels can easily incorporate motion graphics into subtitles, from animated text to kinetic typography, without needing advanced technical knowledge. The Submachine panel offers a vast library of templates and customization options, empowering editors to express specific moods, tones, and branding in their clips or videos. This innovative feature transforms static subtitles into visually engaging experiences, which lends to how content creators tell their stories and how they bring their ideas to life. I know that sounds like a tall order, so let's take a look at Submachine in action. Before anything else though, we have to generate your transcript and we can do this by going to the text panel in Premiere Pro. Once you have it, make sure to go through the transcript yourself since it might contain errors. Then, click the CC or Create Captions button, which will open a separate window that allows you to customize your captions. Under Preferences, you can fiddle around with the variables to make sure the word-for-word -word feature works. For example, by dragging the maximum length in characters down to 7, the minimum duration in seconds down to 1.2, and ticking single under lines, you'll generate captions that appear, as I mentioned, word for word. This creates an effect that highlights every word said. Once you're satisfied with the captions generated, click the three dots in the upper right corner and export your captions as an SRT file. With that done, we can now move on to the submachine panel. Import your generated SRT file in the short SRT field. The Mogurt field, on the other hand, is where you can stylize your subtitles. You can select from pre-existing or built-in styles or open up After Effects and customize your own motion graphics template to match your brand or project. Once you have the variables in place, click Create Subs. This will prompt the plugin to place your template or stylized subtitles at the time codes following your previously saved SRT file. You can hover over the generated subtitles to see how it looks so far, and note that it takes about as long as the video you're inserting the subtitles into. So, if you're editing a 30-second clip, expect to wait about 30 seconds for the plugin to generate your subs. And that's it! While Submachine can absolutely help streamline your subtitling workflow, with its practical interface and diverse range of templates and stylizing options, the current Mogurt library might feel limiting for some users, especially if you're looking to utilize a specific or unique style. Nevertheless, the plugin, alongside Premiere Pro, continues to evolve, so it might eventually carry a particular style you're looking for. Like with any tool, it's all about finding the right fit for your editing needs. So. Will you be using Submachine to enhance your editing experience? Here at VidPros, we're committed to leveraging technology to empower content creators like you. Schedule a call with us today and join us in crafting quality in every frame. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Until next time, keep creating and editing!